Mr. Bigley. Hey there, guys and gals. It's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley. And I'm once again playing another random one shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Kirigami. And this game caught my eye because of its very unique sort of like paper cutout art style. It looks really cool. You guys can probably tell just from this little home screen that it's going to have a very unique style. But this game also was made as a student project, which is always really impressive to me. Anytime like a university student makes something and then puts it out there for people to consume. Consume, I think that's awesome because that's obviously them in the budding stages of their career and you know We need more game designers. We need more creative people out there. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's get started I guess this is sort of like an adventure exploration based point-and-click. Oh, that's me. I'm so cute. Look at me Ah, uh, Look at me go Okay, that was like sleeping or something use arrow key arrow keys to move. Oh, that's interesting use mouse to click Okay, so I can point and click with my little mouse Right, what's this thing up here? Oh, oh, that's my inventory. Cool. All right, I have no items, and then I I walk around. Oh, I walk around with the the right and left keys. Okay, cool. Oh, and up and down. There's like some depth of field here. I really really like. Oh, I'm getting blown back by the wind. I guess I can't go that way yet. That's fine. I really really like the art style. That's very cool. Like all the trees. You know, they're definitely like. Oh. I'm gonna glitch through them, I guess. I was gonna say, like, they're obviously there in the environment and in my way, but uh, I can just teleport through those. That's fine, I'm phasing through everything. Cause, I mean, look at me. I'm in a cute little, like, cat onesie and I got a little crown bouncing on my head. I got whiskers even coming off of the onesie. That's so cute. But uh, yeah, they're, they're still, like, 2D objects, or 3D objects that look like they're 2D. And I think that's really, really cool. <gasps> Hello, is that a sleeping puppy? What's this little plant here? Nothing, okay. Hi, sleeping puppy. Hello, sir. That's all you have to say to me? You're just gonna make a big snore? Oh. oh. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, and look at this, guys. This is actually a 3D object with a froggy in it. Hello. Oh, you're just gonna belch in my face like that? I just freed you from that pot, dude. Someone was gonna eat you. Oh. Oh, you want a potion. Okay, or either that or it's a shaker of pepper or something. Maybe it's in here somewhere. All right, I'm not seeing anything else I can interact with. I mean, it was kind of rude that you you burped in my face. You riveted right in my face. Hello, old man, sir. And there's a sleeping bird up there. Hi, sleeping bird. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, get out of my house, he says. All right, and your, fi your fireplace isn't even going, man. You're not staying very warm in here. Got all the logs prepped, though. All right. So uh, this frog wants, wants me to get him a potion. What's it? Oh. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay, cool. Uh oh, that's a cool feature. Looks like floor two is missing, so we can't go up there. We gotta go up to floor three, I guess. That was cool that there was like a little bit of blur when I walked into the elevator. Uh, hello? Can I get out, please? Ah, okay. So I'm assuming, I'm, I'm gonna be expecting some glitches in this game just due to the fact that it was made by a single person as a university project, but so far I'm really impressed by the aesthetics in here. It's really cool. Can't get in there. Hello? Hi, are you a, are you a real gamer, Grill? Are you a gamer girl? Are you a Let's Player? Are you making some sweet ass Let's Plays in there, dude? I see you. I see you making some Let's Plays. All right. Ooh. Ooh, hi. Oh, um, hi. Yeah, hi. Do you always just walk into people's rooms? So can I help you or? So this is, oh, look at this. She's like a witch. She's a cat witch. Oh my God, she's, she's a hot cat witch. Um, <laughs> can you make potions or need potion? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be polite on this one. I'm not gonna demand things. I mean, I am a stranger. She did make the point. I just sort of walked into her room. No shit. I just have this pot for decoration. Excuse me. I was trying to be polite and I'm getting attitude now. I'm getting sassed by this sassy, sexy cat witch. God damn it. Yeah, sure, I can make a potion. I have most of the shit I need to make it. So vulgar. But I'm out of crow's feathers. I guess we gotta go find her a crow's feather. To be honest, any blackbird feather will do. Okay, sure. I guess I can go find one. Is that all you have to tell me? Yeah? Can't steal the potion now. Ooh, look at this thing. Ooh, potion. Okay, you can leave now. Oh, excuse me. I'm exploring. It's a wonderful, mystical, fun game of exploration, and you're rushing me. All right, there's a bird downstairs with the old guy. I wonder if that's the bird we need. I didn't think it was a black bird, though. So, I guess we can look, though. We can find out here. All right, hello, sir. I need your bird. No, it's not a black bird. Oh, you're sleeping now? Hello. All right, Mr. Snore McSnorlogs. Is the bird sleeping too? Hello. Oh. 
Okay, I guess I just grabbed his bird. Hi, sir, your bird is, uh, uh, I can't move anywhere with it. What do I do with it? Sir, do you want your bird, sir? Uh, uh oh, it stuck, it glitched or something. Oh, oh, it went up the fireplace. What is happening? Uh oh, I'm gonna annoy the let's player. I don't know what game he's playing. Looks pretty sweet though. Oh, okay, so, oh, I get it. All right, I understand now. So I, I moved the loud squawky bird. It was white. I put it into the sooty chimney. Thank God the fire wasn't on because then we would have had roast bird. And it turned into a crow because it's covered in ash. Okay, so any black bird feather will do. All right, hey, hey froggy boy. I'm, I'm getting your potion for you, buddy. We'll be done here in a, any moment. We gotta go back up here. Oh boy, how do we get to the bird though? He's on the roof. I didn't see any roof access anywhere. Oh, this door is open now. Hello, Let's Player. Hello, fellow Let's Player. Do you have, is this Doritos and, and Mountain Dew I see on the ground here? Oh, this dude's got, he's fully decked out. Check it out, guys. He's got a GameCube. He's got Pokemon. He's got a Super Nintendo. He's got like, I don't know, some like Zelda shit up here. This is cool. Richard and Monty. No way. How recent? I don't know how recently this game was made, but that's a sick Rick and Morty reference up there. That is so great. It looks like he's like looking at some animu girl porn though. What's up, dude? You into the hentais? Hello, sir. Oh, hi, Mr. Eyeball. I do not talk to non-intelligent beings. Okay. You probably couldn't even solve a Rubik's Cube, Keck. <laughs> he speaks like an online gamer. Even if you did, anyone can do the standard pattern. I'd have to see something really cool. Oh, like the pattern on your screen there. Okay. So let's see here. Okay. So there's a Rubik's Cube over here. Should be able to do that. All right. I just copied that pattern. Oh, uh, how do I solve this though? Can I rotate this? Oh, I'm just replacing the stickers, guys. It's cheating. Okay. So I just have to replace the stickers so that it looks exactly like the one on the screen there. This is going to be easy peasy. He's watching me though. He knows I'm cheating. This isn't good. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever. He's gonna have to deal with it. He mocked me. He said I was unintelligent right after meeting me too. How dare you, sir? I pride myself on my huge brain, my massive noggin full of vast stores of knowledge and, and information that's important for the world to know. All right. Uh, boom. There we go. We did it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Indeed. I did it. You're actually so eager to impress me that you moved the stickers. <laughs> See, I told you he was watching me. <laughs> That's just tragic. Well, you might as well keep the cube. It's useless now. Really, dude? Oh, thanks. Thanks for the free useless cube. Go play upstairs, try hard. Oh, <laughs> call me try hard, dude. I will 1v1 you in Overwatch so fast. All right, sweet. We got this rope. I'm going to do a little bit of climby do up here. I'm really liking this game so far, guys. All the characters. Uh oh. We locked in here now? It's not good. All the characters have, what's this thing? A big scary wardrobe, rocking horse. Oh, that's starting to move on its own. I don't like that. Okay, what's this box for? I, oh, okay, I, I guess I just pushed it. Oh, the crow's up there. Okay, or the fake crow is up there. Can't use the telescope. Nothing else to click in here, okay. Oh, get out of here, get out of the haunted attic. I don't like it, get out, run, go, dude. Oh, there's like bats in there too. That's weird, okay, hi. Hello. Oh, all right, asshole. Do I just go, do I go after you? Okay, I'll drop down. That's fine. I'm sure we can like climb back up or something. Um, but yeah, like I was trying to say, I really like the aesthetic of this game. I like that every character is very charming, very sassy. They have like an attitude of their own. Um, so I'm assuming I have to use this net and then I can, can swipe at you. Give me your feathers, fool. Yeah, got me a feather, hell yeah. Haha. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a little dance. Oh, look at me. I'm, I'm making them dance. It's so cute. Oh, cute. Awesome. And then the crow fake bird. <gasps> what the hell is this guy? Hello. Hi, sir. Oh, um, hello. Uh, are you stuck or you need help? Uh, I'm gonna say you need help. No, um, well, I guess I've been here my whole life. I don't mind. I mean, I don't want to leave. I'm just a bit bored. Oh, really? You don't want to leave? You're like sort of bowing out the walls here a bit with your mass. Uh, do you have anything I could um do or something? Don't worry if you're busy. You know what, dude? I just was given a Rubik's Cube. Do you want a useless Rubik's Cube? Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. Oh, he got it. He's having fun. What was that? What's this? Oh, a rope just appeared. He's enjoying the Rubik's Cube. That's good. 
got like plants growing out of your head, man. You've been sitting in the same place too long. Oh, it's a, oh, hey, what up? Drop down. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Just get a black feather. Uh, I got one, bitch. I will give this to you right now. Take that shit, put that in that potion. Hell yeah, make me a potion. Yeah, stupid witch who's uh, just super soon soon. Tsundere. I couldn't have just stolen this one in the corner. Whatever. All right, see you later, bitch. All right, we can go down, give this to Mr. Froggy. See what Mr. Froggy turns into. Hopefully a handsome prince. Awesome. Very, very good. We're cruising through this. I like this game. It's really simplistic. Uh, it's it's quite calm. I love point-and-click games. They're really fun for me. Uh, oh, hello. You're lovely looking. You're like an ogre. Uh, hi there, friend. Thanking you very much for the help, friend. Could you go in the other room? Thank you, please. Oh, because you're nude. <laughs> He's naked. Uh, sure, man. I can leave you be. You don't want me to see your little bits? I'm going to go behind you. I'm going to see your... Uh, I can see it all. I can see it all from the back. Okay, whatever. We'll leave. Something happening? I went in the other room, like you asked. Did I go here? Oh, I hear noises. Oh, he's cooking now. Oh, shit. That booty, though. That ass. And, and he pooped out a bone. Thank you. Thanks for the bone, dude. Oh, I bet I can give this a doggy. I make this for you, friend. What, the bone? Or do you have... Oh, he's got something in his hand. Oh, it's a little apron with a heart. That's so adorable. It's just covering up the important bits there. There we go. No censoring needed. This is completely advertiser-friendly for YouTube. Uh, okay, so I got, like... What What did I get? Cup of, cup of joe, and I got a bone. Here you go, doggy dog. Snoop doggy dog. Get doggy doggy dog. Enjoy that bone. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, he's running away with it. Do I follow him? Oh, what is this? Watering can. Oh, sick, dude. I'm going to water the sprout here. <sighs> did it work? <gasps> yeah, it did. Magical sprout. It's like Jack and the Beanstalk. Just walking up this or climbing up that. Oh. Oh, that's right. The second floor button was broken. So this is technically the second floor now. So we're just going to oh, hoist ourselves through the wall. Ah, says the fight. I don't blame you, dude. Fox, wolf, whatever you are. Yeah, I'd be a little bit creeped out, too, if someone just crawled in my window suddenly. Hello. Why did you? Why did I what? Uh, I'm a jumpy guy. You can't be climbing in people's windows, my dude. That? Oh, uh, I like paint. Most of all the pretty things. <laughs> it's the girl upstairs. I don't love her or anything. She just gives me the feeling, you know? I think you know. We have not much talked. Oh, I'm assuming this is, uh... It's not their first language, English here. I hear she is a bit mean. Uh, yeah, she's a moody bitch. <laughs> I love the answers in this. Nah, she's a kitten. Dude, she's a moody bitch, dude. You don't, you want to avoid that soon, soon. Oh, really? Well, I kind of like the crazy chicks. <laughs> oh, man, guy's got a type. I tried to write a letter for her, but words are not my first language. Yeah, I can tell. Take it. You might fix the words and stuff, yes? Uh, sure, yeah, I can do my best. Do you want, oh yeah, he's got like drawings of the witch girl. How adorable, how lovely. All right, do you want, do you want this coffee? No, okay, I guess that was a rejection. What's this thing on the ground? Oh, it's the missing elevator button. Did you want to view, did you do this, sir? Did you want to be all alone up here? Ooh, it worked. Nice, now we can use the elevator, guys. Very good, making it quick. Hello, depressed, sad writing fellow. What's this thing back here? Can I go back there? No, oh, it woke him up, sweet. What's over here? A toilet for pooping and peeing and no door. Okay, well, do you want this, uh, you want this coffee, dude? Oh yeah, you're a writer. I know you like that good stuff. You like the coffee bean. And then, oh, he's a writer. You know what? I have to fix the letter. I bet he wants to write this for me. No, you're not gonna, what about on the typewriter? Excuse me, okay, well, that's fine. Oh, wait, are you doing it? You're typing. Oh, I think he fixed it for me. Hell yeah, it just took a second to register. Although now there's two of them. That's, what, oh, okay, it disappeared. That interesting. Thanks, dude, I appreciate it. You didn't say a word to me, but you just got, got to work. All right, I guess we can go give this to Witchy Poo, even though she doesn't deserve it because she's a cold hearted bitch. She's gonna be mean. She's gonna be a big asshole. Seriously, I don't know, just get a bird and make it black or something. What, I already got that. What? What is this? I can't even read this. Oh, are you talking about the original letter? Well, here's the, improv the, the improved revised version, the edited version by a professional writer. I mean, not a professional writer. It's by the guy downstairs. Seriously. He likes you a lot. Yeah? Uh, oh, man, the text is glitching. Did, 
did the dude downstairs write this? Yeah, totally. Or nah, he's playing you short. <laughs> he's playing you shorty. Um, I'm gonna say nah. He's playing you shorty. This this girl has given me nothing but trouble the whole damn time. Uh, eh? Uh, uh, I uh need to go somewhere. I said get out. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, she just launched me, dude. Excuse me. Uh, I just gave you a. Okay. Well, enjoy your glitched out text hovering above your head. What's this dude doing? Dude, are you? Doing, doing something dirty here? Do I want to be a part of this? Okay, we should probably go downstairs, tell Mr. Fox Artist that we delivered his uh, his letter here. And, oh, his door's closed. What's, oh! Uh, would you, t uh, could you take it to me, to her, I'm shy, being honest, wait, oh. Okay, I just clicked him and accidentally glitched his text, that's all. Oh, what's happening? Puzzle pieces are appearing above these people. Is this, oh, I made everyone in the house happy. I got it, or I, at least did the task. I don't know if they're actually happy. But they're all giving me little puzzle pieces. Sweet. And now I gotta solve a puzzle, I'm assuming. Good, good. Nice, nice. What about the doggy? Doggy's supposed to give me something, too. I gave him that bone. Oh, oh, they're forming on their own. What are they creating? They, they made the Google Chrome symbol. Nice. We got the Google Chrome symbol, guys. That's a reward. Awesome. Uh, why the ominous zoom? And the ominous music and the ominous filter placed on that. That doesn't make me want to go in there. I mean, I'm curious. I'm gonna do it anyway. But ugh, why would you do that to me? Wait, no, I wanna be here. I do wanna. Oh, Jesus. Wait, no, I don't. Um, just fell off the elevator. Okay, that's fine. Oh, boy. Oh, um, might have just broken the game, guys. May have broken the game here. Oopsie, I missed my elevator. I'm now falling endlessly down a shaft below the world. So I guess I have to go back through and do everything again, but now at least I know how to do it. And I'll be back with what's in the wardrobe. I can't believe I did this. I break every fucking game I touch. How? Okay, I just speed ran the entire game again. Everybody in the house is happy. I have the Google Chrome symbol again. There was the ominous music and the weird zoom in on the wardrobe up in the attic. And there's already some foreboding things going on. There's this door up top here that's uh, kind of having a, an issue. And uh, I don't know if that's a good thing. It looks a little bit haunted. I mean, we encountered the haunted rocking horse earlier up here. That thing is like glowing. Oh, okay. I guess we're trapped in here again. The spooky haunted rocking horse. All right, well, I guess we put the Google symbol, boom. Right in there, in the eye of the wardrobe. This, I'm backing up here, just in case something weird happens. Oh, oh, that didn't seem good. I don't know if I, why? Anytime there's like a creepy thing in an attic, don't go to it. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Like, I've watched enough horror movies to know not to do that thing. Are we in Narnia now though? That'd be amazing. Are we in Narnia? Hello, Um, it's complete blackness. That's probably not a good thing. Oh, oh, well, we're like drifting through space, dude. This is crazy, student. Am I a student? Sh sure. Student game. Bye. Yeah, Sophie, cook. Good job, Sophie Cook. I like this game a lot. I really, like I said, I like the style. I really like the puzzles and I really like the writing of the characters. All the characters seemed, uh, this is really cool. Special thanks to Andrew. Hey, way to go, Andrew. Way to go. Andrew Brazier. Um, anyway, yeah, I really like this game. Obviously, there were some coding issues with me falling through the floor. That wasn't a good thing. I like that this is how the credit sequence is done, though. It's just me drifting through space, and I see all the credits, and it's nice and good. Studio 694, I'm assuming is the name of the, the studio that developed this. But yeah, I really, really like, it's interesting because there's, uh oh, what's happening? I'm shooting stars off my, oh, whoa, no, why am I disintegrating? What's happening? Is this bad? Do I go the other way? No, Cur curiosity killed the cat. Oh no, I killed the cat. I didn't want to die. I was just going to say, I'm, I'm like clearly the king of something. I had a little crown bouncing on my head and I, I was in the cute little cat Kigurumi the whole time and I, Apparently I'm dead now.
That's too bad. That's not a good reward for helping everyone in the house. Just goes to show, doesn't pay to be nice guys. <laughs> no, no, that is not the message of the game. I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, but yeah, wow, what an ending. So we died. Uh, we helped out, you know, a whole bunch of people in a house. We solved some puzzles. Like I said, really clever, cute puzzles. Besides the one glitch that I managed to stumble across because I'm just, I break every game I touch. Uh, it was really cute. It was really well done. I liked it quite a bit. Um, art style, writing, everything, good stuff. I'm just repeating myself at this point because I want to reiterate that that was a good game. That was a lot of fun, especially for a, a student project. That was really, really cool. Special thanks to you. That's me. They're talking about me. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this game. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below in the description like I normally do so you can download this for free from over on Itch.io. But I had a lot of fun with it. It was a really, really nice little experience. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.